What's up guys, Diego here and in this video I'm gonna show you the new terrain type feature coming in the next version of Mirage. As you can see the old settings are gone and now we have this drop down with two terrain types for now, each with their own algorithm and settings. Let's check them out. The first one is the smooth hills, which lets you create these kinds of rolling hills. With a different setting we can control the height of the hills versus the flat areas. Speaking of those, Flatland lets you control the flat areas between hills and create V-shaped valleys. And if we increase it, we get a smoother transition and flatter areas. Detail controls the bumps or breakups in the hills. If we lower it, we get smoother hills. With twist we can make the hills more curvy and create the illusion of hills blending into each other. Like this. Alright, let's check out mountains. As you can see it's already a bit rougher than the hills type. The first setting, rigidness, lets you create these narrow, spiky mountain ranges. As you can see there's an ugly saw like effect here, that's because the terrain is too low poly. We can fix this real quick with a subsurf modifier. Ok, let's bring it back down for a sec. Now the sharpness option gives you sharper features on the terrain, so it looks more like hard rock. If we bring these two together, we can get a very sharp and rough mountain range. We can break this terrain even further with the breakup setting. If I bring it up, we get more mountains. If I bring it down, we get a simpler terrain. Ok, let me reset this real quick. Let's check out roughness. Roughness makes the smaller noise more intense. It's very useful for thermal erosion when you want to have some extra detail in your terrain. Let's reset this too. Finally, Twist does the same thing as in the Hills type. Now we can go into the modifiers tab and try some effects on this terrain. We can start by adding some water erosion which simulates rain eroding the mountains. And then we can complete the effect with some thermal erosion. And you can see it looks a lot more realistic now. Next up we can use the terraces modifier to make some areas flat. All we have to do is increase the first terrace. And of course, we can use this to generate actual terraces and have a sort of canyon scene. And since we are using the new live mode, we can also just play with the seed until we find a shape that we like. I plan on adding more terrain types in future versions, including a fully custom terrain, where you can mix different kinds of noises with different blending modes and effects. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed it and happy blending guys!